In June of 2012, we had a female reticulate python, they're the world's longest snakes. This one's about 20 feet, maybe a little bit longer. She presented us with a clutch of 61 eggs. The eggs looked great. They were full and vibrant. They looked fertile, in fact. And so we decided to try to incubate some of them, but we ended up with six of them hatching in September. And what's amazing about this is this snake has never been with a male snake. And so we took shed skins off of the babies and off of the mother, and we sent them to the University of Tulsa. And their molecular lab looked at those skins and compared them, and lo and behold, all of their genetic material came from mom. So a male sperm did not contribute to the development of those things, so it's in effect virgin birth, or a term known as parthenogenesis. This is the first documented case of this phenomenon in this species. It's uh, known technically as facultative parthenogenesis because it reproduces sexually as well. But no one, until this, this snake at the Louisville Zoo did this, no one knew that it could do that and produce fertile progeny on its own with, with no assistance from a male snake. 